Hey everyone, this is the Integrated Math 2 practice test. We're in subpart 3. It's question number 23 for the 2017-18 practice test. They might move it around next year, so if I reuse it, there you go. The graph shows the population of rabbits in a certain area as a function of the time in years. And the question wants to know during which time interval is the population of rabbits increasing. So I have my notation below. I'm going to look at from 0 to 5, so from here to here. That's not increasing. It's in here's the first, here's the beginning, here's the end. So no increase there. Uh, from 0 to 12. It does eventually go up, so that's looking okay. But it's not constantly increasing. It's just increasing at this point, so we have to consider that. From 12 to 15. Mm, no, that's out. And the last one is from 5 to 12. So when they ask this question and they give you two answers that can be a little bit um, questionable, like which one do you really pick? Because the average rate of change from 0 to 12 is an increase. The problem is it's not constantly increasing and they want to know during which time interval is the population increasing. So here it's not increasing at all. So I'm going to go with the thing that sells that story as much as possible, which is from 5 to 12. So my answer for number 23 is B. So unless if they ask you about average rate of change, you can start at the beginning and look at the end. But if they want to know about particular intervals, what's happening throughout the interval, you have, may have to be a bit more precise in how you answer the question. So be careful and don't just, so for instance, if this 512 had been C instead of B, you might have jumped on the bandwagon of 0 and 12. I guess the, the key here is just to make sure that you try all your answer choices before you settle on one that's the best.